this is Jake Harms with Custom Creations and this is the do-it-yourself iMac Aquarium kit. This kit includes all of the materials and video instructions necessary to turn your G3 iMac into an aquarium. The kit includes a three and a half gallon acrylic tank. You can see the face of the tank is curved on the sides and the bottom to match the curve of the CRT of the iMac. It's also tapered across the top and toward the back because that's how the case of the iMac is. For filtration inside of the aquarium, we use the Whisper 4 aquarium filter. This is an upgraded filter from what I used to use. It is extremely quiet and is a very nice little filter. The top piece right here is my only complaint. It comes off pretty easy. It just stays on with that little clip right there, but it snaps back on. It uses the little small bio bags for filtration, activated carbon on the inside and a mesh with a screen on the back. These bags are available at almost all department pet stores, Amazon, Walmart. They're very accessible. You get them in a six pack. They last a long time. This is the power cord that powers the filter and the light. You can see on the power cord you simply plug the filter in here, you plug the light in here, and you have an additional receptacle for an additional accessory such as a tank heater or additional lighting. You just use a little bit of hot glue to seal these ends up to prevent accidental water contact and this wiring assembly goes underneath of the tank. Over the light, like I said, it just plugs in. The light will have a switch that gets plugged in right here. So you can turn the light on and off while the filter keeps running. The light is a neutral white waterproof light strip. It puts off a nice amount of light, but it's not overly bright for the aquarium, so it's a nice neutral white. Also, we have some mounting bolts for the tank and some zip ties just to keep everything tidy inside of here. So when you're putting it together, the video instructions are going to show you how to disassemble your iMac, modify it into the pieces that you need, and put it back together. So long story short, all you're going to do is create your assembly like this. Get your tank mounted in here right there here. The aquarium light is going to come up one side over the top down the other side and the filter is going to mount right back here on the back. And the wiring assembly is going to go underneath here. There will be a switch on the back so you can turn the light on and off. And then this assembly gets set inside of the base. And after that, the top gets set on. So the top is one piece. This is glued to the back part. To access the inside, you can just lift the top off. Or for daily feedings, you have the option to feed through the Apple access hole on the top. To put this all together, we're going to use a couple of these common tools over here. First of all, we have the Dremel with a cutting tip of some sort on it. This is my favorite one. I have the link here on the website. Otherwise, any of these shapes or routing pieces is going to work just fine. we got a flat head and a Phillips head screwdriver wire snippers and pliers, and a little bit of hot glue to hold pieces together. A little bit of electrical tape just for your connections. I like to tape everything up really good just to pre prevent any accidental water contact at the connections of the plugs, which is the only wiring there is to do on it. To keep it nice and shiny, you can use any kind of uh, quick spray wax or ceramic wax on your case. This one will get your case shiny for a little bit of money. This one will get your case shiny for a lot of money. It really doesn't matter which one you use. Most of the time all you're going to need is a little spray wax on here. If it is in pretty rough shape, the instructions videos do show how to use a buffing pad and compounds to polish the plastic, which polishes up to a pretty nice shine with a little bit of work on there. So that's the do-it-yourself aquarium kit. If you've got any questions, you can always Email me, I'm pretty prompt to re reply when I can. And check them out, jakeharms.com. And if you got any questions, let me know. Thanks.